Undercover and inside, the secret agent infiltrates the British National Party now on BBC One. This programme contains extremely strong and offensive language from the start. This is Andy Sykes. He's a senior member of the British National Party and a hero to its leader, Nick Griffin. Wait, wait, no. Stand up. This man has got some guts. But he's not the man Nick Griffin thinks he is. He's a double agent. I've decided now to complain to let the general public know that the BNP, they're hiding behind this political name when they've not changed in the last 20 years or more. Um, I don't want people to be fooled in this community or in Bradford or in this country. Uh, they're, they're portraying themselves as a respectable political party and they're far from it. Andy promises to take me, a BBC reporter, to the heart of the British National Party. This is the story of what I discover. My name is Jason Gwynn and going undercover allows me to investigate the British National Party. Its leader, Nick Griffin, says he's not racist, but the evidence I recorded proves he incites racial hatred. For saying that, I tell you, I would get seven years if I said that outside, if I said that in front of um, people who go and report to the police. He claims to have converted his party to democracy, but it's a sham behind the political front he has constructed lies violence and the threat of violence. Some of his activists confessed to racial harassment and vicious assault. Some go so far as to say they want to kill Muslims. My journey begins in December 2003, when I arrive in West Yorkshire. I plan to infiltrate the party during its local and European election campaign. I'm going to pose as a football hooligan who's become interested in politics. Andy Sykes tells me the party is divided. There are those who want to engage with the democratic process and those who prefer the boot to the ballot box. I will base myself in Bradford, where Andy is the BNP organiser. The city, where 20% of the half million population is Asian, was three years ago the scene of Britain's worst race riots for a generation. Andy believes there are those in the party who want to stir up trouble again. If there is a lot of racial tension in an area, then that becomes a fertile ground for the BNP to start recruiting. And, um, Obviously the area gets leafleted and then um, try to get members on board. In December, I received my passport into his world. Um, my British National Party membership card. And uh, it reads, this is to certify that Mr Jason Gwynn, member number 13459, is a fully paid up member of the party until the 31st of December 2004. The BNP constantly recruits activists, but is suspicious of new faces. At my first meeting, Andy introduces me to Stuart Williams, who wants to be elected as a councillor. Andy warns me that I'll hear some extreme views. We decide that to be accepted, I should pretend to go along with them. He's got a favourite place in Bradford, hasn't he? It's up the Calais. It's um, a uh, picturesque view of Bradford. You can see it on top of the Calais. It's just on the... Yeah, it's on I'm <laughs> 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 <la
بعدين يعني I'm sure Stuart Williams isn't drunk, but I'm determined to find out if this is more than pub talk. I came away feeling awkward that I had to be seen and heard to agree with his sentiments in order to maintain my cover. Andy Sykes joined the BNP three years ago, worried that Asians and asylum seekers might move into his area. I do regret joining the British National Party because, you know, it's a racist party. I was having prejudiced thoughts against like, the asylum seekers, but I don't regret getting to where I am today because if I hadn't joined the party, then I wouldn't have been able to do what I've done today and I wouldn't have been able to stop BNP moving forward in Bradford. I wouldn't have been able to stop all these candidates coming forward. I wouldn't have been able to show people that they've been hoodwinked, that they've been lied to. And um, a lot of decent people out there hopefully they will thank me for it. Within days of joining, I'm on my way to a BNP meeting in Burnley. I'm with council candidate Jim Luthwaite, who explains his thinking on Asians. Although his strategy aims to divide the Asian community, he's adamant he's not racist. In Burnley, I meet the leader, Nick Griffin. He's wearing a suit and looks every inch the dressed-down modern politician. He's there to support a teenager, arrested for holding up the letters B and P on a bus. I personally, I hate the politically correct police who run this country, particularly the ones in the northwest of England. They are the scum of the earth. White people are victims time and time and time again, and they do worse than turn a blind eye, given a chance to arrest the whites or their families. I've got no time when the teenager is released without charge, the BNP agrees to cancel a demonstration, but Nick Griffin is still on the offensive. With the implication, now if the police hadn't given way, then the largest, noisiest BNP demonstration we could have had, the better, and if 150, 200, 500 Asians come along to, to oppose it, and as a result, the police have a riot on their hands. That would teach the police a lesson. His attack on the police is not what I expect to hear from the leader of a respectable political party. The BNP already has 17 councillors, but is determined to win even more seats in places like Bradford. During the election campaign, I quickly discover that while some members subscribe to normal politics, others, like council candidate Dave Midgley, go off message. This is like Shanty Bradford's Hill. Which one? This is Spicy Bite, Shanty. Oh, Spicy Bite. Didn't you put something through their letterbox? I did. It was Shanty. You put some shit through their letterbox? Yeah, loads of it. Kept doing it. Which I end. What did you put it through with? You know, you know, you know those kids squirt you got through? We put back shit, you keep putting it off. Went out the park without being dog bits. Got a bucket, emptied them all. Went out to the park lane, washed it all over it. Sent it up. And shoved it through the hardwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worked a treat. How are you doing that for? Did it about the same weeks. 